We've had a decent start to the season. Stay tuned to find out if we can carry it on. Hello and welcome to episode 54 of Rebuilding Derby. My name is Jamie. Coming up on today's episode, I've got two games for you. In the EFL Championship, we're at home to Stoke City and then away at AFC Wimbledon. Let's uh, get into the uh, first match of the episode. Okay, this is the uh, team for the uh, Stoke City game, and it is Charlie Setford in goal, about four of Tom Hamer, Curtis Nelson, Fallu Sal, and Archie Brown. Max Bird at the base of midfield, Regan Slater and Miguel Aziz ahead of him, Joe Gelhart on the right, Tyrese John Jules on the left, Adam Epo Ojibeko up front. Let's uh, submit the team and get into the team talk. Okay, I am going to agree with the uh, assistant manager. I want to be impressed, go out and put on a show. And um, we're going to pump the fists and say that, and then send the lads out for the match. And it is Stoke City who get the game underway. It's with uh, Fish, who goes right to Sanderson, O'Hare, to Tutu, O'Hare, to Cafaro, Grant, to Cafaro, Cresswell, Campbell, and Cafaro swap passes. Cresswell has it, but the highlight ends with no shot. So we'll demand more. And we still await the uh, the next highlight. Nothing of any interest happening at the moment. So we need to demand more. Derby building at the back. Sow to Brown. Aziz to Slater. Slater's given the ball away to Cafaro. And Campbell is in, but uh, Setford makes the save, and that highlight ends. It's a throw for Derby. Hamer to Gelhart. Gelhart beats his man, is in the penalty area, and hits the crossbar with the, uh, the shot. And it's a Stoke City throw. Taylor crosses it in, it's headed away. It'll be picked up by Ojibeko. Gelhart runs down the right wing. Needs help, gets it from Slater, who plays in Aziz. And Miguel Aziz has put it in the back of the net. And it is Derby County 1, Stoke City 0. And there's 25 minutes gone. It's a free kick, Gelhart. It's uh, around the wall and the keeper makes the save. It's out for a corner. In swinging corner from Hamer. Into the middle. Headed away but Nelson will pick it up. Goes back to the halfway line and Brown but the highlight ends. So we'll demand more again. Got a few players not playing well. So there will be some changes at half time. And it's Hamer with the throw in on the right, gives it to Slater, into Gelhart, who goes left for Aziz. Aziz has the shot but can't beat the keeper. It's cleared and the highlight ends. Not far away from half time at this point, so we'll demand more one last time. It is an outswinging corner from Cafaro. He hits the crossbar with his header. And Osei Tutu comes down the right wing for Stoke. But John Jules makes the challenge. It's out for a throw in. And that highlight ends. And a very low key uh, first half. Looks like it's going to uh, peter out to... A fairly innocuous conclusion. We're into stoppage time. And that is half time. It's Derby County 1, Stoke City 0. Derby just about deserving the lead. So 
we're doing well we can definitely find another gear absolutely now time to make those changes and we're going to bring off Tyrese John Jules for Daniel Okachu no in fact for Ryan Longman but we'll swap him to the right and we will also take off Regan Slater for Jason Knight Curtis Nelson will replace Max Bird in central in defensive midfield and Max Bird will come off for Ivani Sampao so we're going to make three changes at half time because of the uh, tiredness of the players and we're going to have to hope they can hang on to a 1-0 win Audrey Becco kicks off the second half Sao to Aziz Sao gets it back Nelson to Aziz Aziz goes for the ball to Gelhart doesn't find him and Grant comes forward for Derby but loses out Sao has it now for Derby Gelhart back to Sao it's played forward from Gelhart and it's Longman header only picks out O'Hare for Stoke it's Fish who goes over the top to I'll say 2-2 two -two. and he is able to get his cross in the header is over the bar and the highlight ends but Setford with a goal kick Nelson goes back to Setford picks out uh, Sam Powell goes long and Longman is in on goal has the shot but it's wide and that highlight ends so let's demand more it's a Stoke City throw in down the left side for Stoke Kefaro to O'Hare Campbell gets his cross in but it's uh, into the arms of Setford who is looking for someone to launch it to I think in the end he does he launches it over halfway but only manages to pick out Sanderson for Stoke who finds Osei Tutu but then Tutu loses the ball to Brown who finds Nelson Knight through to Aziz Aziz with the shot over the crossbar and out for a goal kick and we've had much the better of it but it's been a very very low key match so far and we are hopefully going to hold on but we've still got nearly half an hour to go it's a long a long time to be holding on to a to a lead of one goal so we'll demand more and await the next highlight just about 20 minutes left now Nelson with it for Derby back to the keeper Setford only picks out a Stoke shirt and Stoke are in Setford does make the save but Stoke will have a corner and it's Kafaro with the in swinging corner the header is on target no in fact it's wide I thought it was a save by the goalie but it's actually gone directly wide and it's now a derby corner Aziz with the out swinger into the middle I think it's a penalty it is, Tutu has fouled the Derby player and he has been booked for his trouble so we will have a penalty and a chance to practically seal the match Gelhart with it he does pick out the back of the net, it's Derby County 2 Stoke City 0 and as the commentator says, surely that settles it We'll watch the penalty again. It's a great pen from uh, Gelhart. Smashed past the goalkeeper. 
and we're into the last 15 minutes or so surely we're just going to look to hang on here and we're under 15 minutes away um, Tyrese Campbell um, specifically mark him no I'm not going to bother not at the moment we're inside the last 10 minutes it's a Stoke throw in and Grant has it on the right goes back to Sanderson who crosses it's headed away Oji Becko picks it up gives it to Knight feeds Longman Longman picks out Oji Becko Oji Becko plays it to Longman but Longman isn't able to get there it's down the left for Cherkin who plays it into Campbell Campbell has caused confusion in the box Colin Grant puts it in the back of the net and now we really are holding on for 10 minutes demand more there ain't a lot we can do we've uh, got players running on fumes Hamer to Knight to Longman Ojibeko, Aziz Gelhart picks out a cross only finds Longman on the far post Hamer to Nelson Nelson has a shot but it's saved by Horvath Aziz to Nelson Sow goes all the way back to the keeper who launches it and it's launched over the top and Stoker in here but Sampao concedes the corner where seven minutes to go in fact it's six minutes now it's headed away by Derby and Longman runs down the right wing surely he's been fouled there and we don't get to see what happens with that we're into the last three minutes it's a Derby throw Hamer to Nelson Knight into the box and Longman Sam Powell to Hamer who crosses it's over everybody Kafaro will bring it away for Stoke gives it to Grant O'Hare, Smith Campbell backwards to O'Hare and it's through to Grant who's in on goal but he's forced wide Kafaro's cross is deflected behind for a corner and it'll be an out swinging corner from Kafaro headed away and Smith picks it up for Stoke gives it to Kafaro who crosses again Longman clears and we're inside the last minute of normal time but there's four added minutes and we just need to see this through it's the very last minute of stoppage time the cross is blocked but Stoke come again and we do hold on final score Derby County 2 Stoke City 1 and I will see you in a moment for the second match of the episode time now for the uh, second match of today's episode as we face the trip to AFC Wimbledon in the Skybet Championship and the team for that one is uh, Rashad Myers in goal back four of Kenneth Brady Ivani Sampao Reese Williams and Archie Brown, Regan Slater at the base of midfield, Jason Knight and Max Bird ahead of him, Tyrese John Jules on the right, Daniel Okachukwu on the left, Joe Galhart up front. Let's submit the team and do a team talk. Okay, we absolutely must win this game, so we'll pump the fists. This is a match we should be winning, make sure we do. And they're either composed or motivated by that so that's fine we'll kick the match off and see how it goes so Wimbledon kick off Dixon to Ogilvy goes down the left hand side Ogilvy into Radoni who goes down the wing gets his cross in it's deflected behind for a corner to Wimbledon so we're going to hit them with a demand more almost immediately and it's headed away but uh, Wing will pick this up, give it to Woods, Astley to Callum Bay, and 
that highlight ends without a shot. Wimbledon have it on halfway. Woods goes backwards to Astley. Ogilvy. And Wimbledon are in. It's Dixon, but it's blocked. Brady finds... No, highlight ends, so we don't get to find out what happened there. Brown to Paveda, who beats his man, finds Woods. Radoni, backwards to Woods. Woods goes back to Astley. Callum Bay picks out his man. Paveda then runs down the right wing. It's passed backwards to Brown. Infield to Paveda, backwards to wing. Paveda cuts inside, has a shot, it's deflected. Wimbledon are having far more of the game than I would like. We need to get on the front foot and get out. But we haven't managed to do it yet. And uh, Myers makes the uh, save from the cross. It's a Derby corner. Max Bird with it. Crosses into the box. It's headed away, but Sam Powell should collect this and does. He goes backwards to Knight. Into Slater. All the way back to the goalkeeper who's come out of his area. Myers gives it to Williams. Slater to Knight to John Jules. Brady over the top for Gelhart, who misses the target when it looked easier to score. But it is a throw now for Brown into Okachukwu. Brown down the line, over hit, but Bird keeps it in. Plays it back for Brown. Slater to Knight, back to Slater, Bird to Gelhart who feeds John Jules. The tackle comes in but John Jules gets to the uh, loose ball and then gives it away. And the highlight uh, ends with no shot. Williams to Sam Pau to Knight, Gelhart to John Jules. John Jules is in here, has the shot and it's cleared by Callum Bay. Still haven't had a shot on target yet, so we're going to demand more. Now we have had a shot on target, but didn't get to see it. We're up to seventh, but would be in the playoffs with a winning goal. But it's Wimbledon on the attack, wing with the corner, crossed into the box. The header is wide and it's a goal kick for Derby. And that highlight ends with nothing. Wing picks it up and Callum Bay back to wing. Into Richards, Woods back to wing. And the highlight ends. So we're going to demand more again. And it's Brown with the throw in on the left for Derby. Back to Bird. Slater goes for the ball over the top, doesn't find his man but gets it back. Okachukwu with the shot but it's over the crossbar. And the highlight ends. Bentley with a goal kick. Into Derby and it's Okachukwu down the left. Feeds Matt, uh, Bird. Slater into Okachukwu. Has the shot but it's deflected behind for a corner. And it will be an in-swinging corner from Knight into the penalty area, headed clear. But Williams collects on the edge of the area. It's back to halfway and Brady highlight ends. And it's a Wimbledon throw. Brown to Richard, who passes to Paveda, finds wing. Dixon back to Ogilvy. Loops up in the air and Myers catches easily. Highlight ends. There'll be one more chance probably in the first half. Brown into Bird. Back to Williams. Goes all the way back to the goalkeeper Myers. To Williams again. Needs to get it forward. Brown down the line for Okachukwu. Has space for the cross but doesn't use it. Bird. Infield to Slater, goes backwards to Sam Powell, Slater has it again. Knight, Gelhart into Okachukwu, 
Ockertruck crew puts it in the back of the net and it counts. It's uh, Wimbledon nil, Derby County one. And we will just continue. We'll demand more again. We're up to fourth in the league as it stands. So we're doing well. We can get find another gear. We'll carry on. Gelhart to Knight to Sam Pau to Williams to Sam Pau back to the goalkeeper Myers clears over halfway only onto a Wimbledon head Perveda gives the ball away Brown into Gelhart down the left for Okachukwu gets to the byline crosses the header is on target but saved easily by the Wimbledon keeper it's Brown with the throw in for Wimbledon wing to Astley who goes long it's picked up by Sampo who feeds Brown then Bird Gelhart plays it wide right for John Jules who gets to the byline cuts it back for Knight who goes backwards to Brady backwards again for Slater who chips it into the area and the shot comes in but it's offside Okachukwu Bentley with the uh, free kick over halfway but headed uh, down by Derby and it's all the way through to Myers the Derby goalkeeper feeds Sam Pau, gives it to Williams uh, Brown on the left Bird to Okachukwu plays it for Gelhart but it's too far in front of him and it's picked up by Wimbledon although Derby have it back briefly and then Perveda wins it feeds wing and then Perveda gets it back and it's in the area but cleared by Derby Gelhart over halfway down the left wing beats his man doesn't get a cross in eventually plays it off the Wimbledon defender for a corner so it's Knight with the in-swinging corner headed away and the highlight ends it's a Derby goal kick now Williams to Brown Okachukwu to Slater to Brown back to Slater who goes long over the top Bird is closing down Brown but won't get there Callum Bay finds Astley who goes long it's headed down but and intercepted by Derby Gelhart into Bird who goes long John Jules is in but he's going to need help gets it but it's cut out although Derby come again Bird Gelhart with the shot over the bar and it's uh, Bentley plays it against Gelhart gets away with it as Brown picks up the loose ball Bentley this time clears long and finds Richards on the edge of the Derby penalty area his shot is over the crossbar it's a goal kick and Derby have utterly dominated this game but still only the one goal to show for it Brady that has the ball taken from him by Radoni it's into the middle and Derby get win it back Knight finds Brady on the right hand side Brady into Gelhart Knight back to Brady John Jules Knight Gelhart Slater into Bird Bird goes for the ball over the top to John Jules John Jules infield to Knight, infield again for Bird, Bird into the area. Okachukwu puts it in the back of the net. And it is Wimbledon nil, Derby County 2. And that is surely going to be enough to win the match. First change is about to be made. Okachukwu is going to come off. And we'll bring on Ryan Longman. Knight is going to come off and be replaced by Aziz and third sub will have to wait 
as it's a Wimbledon throw, Akinola into Richards, it's Pervader, his shot is wide, and I think Brady is likely to be the one coming off, and he is going to be, and we'll bring on Curtis Nelson at right back. And just inside the last 10 minutes, just literally trying to run the clock down now, we're in, we're into the last five minutes, Longman to Brown, Bird to Brown to Longman, goes for the cross, finds John Jules, the header is on target, but saved. Bentley goes for the long clearance, but it's the derby head that meets it. Bird to Gelhart. John Jules is in. His shot is blocked, and then it's volleyed clear by Ogilvy, and the highlight ends. And it's a thoroughly, thoroughly deserved win for Wimbledon for uh, Derby when it comes, um, which it surely will. John Jules in the penalty area. Back to Nelson, who smashes it into the top corner. I really hope this isn't disallowed. It's not going to be. And it's Wimbledon nil, Derby County 3. If it wasn't over before, it certainly is now. And that is pretty much the last action, although John Jules has it on halfway. Slater plays it forward, but it's too strong and Wimbledon have it back and that is the full time whistle full time is Wimbledon nil, Derby County 3 I'll be back in a moment with the league table and the uh, announcement of what's coming up on tomorrow's episode okay so the uh, league table has us in uh, fourth position with uh, 10 points from our first five matches of the season we're just one point off league leaders Brighton, who've played a game more than us. Fulham on the same points as Brighton have played the same number of matches as us. And uh, let's have a look at the schedule and make a decision as to when we're going to come back. So we will uh, come back on Monday with the uh, games against Wigan and Fulham. So uh, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a nice uh, thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to my channel for uh, Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.